Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to talk about the iQOO 9 series. What are the smartphones we can actually expect from the release? Yes, friends, very soon the iQOO gonna release the iQOO 9 series in India. And finally, they did make the official statement as well in the Amazon website. If you try to look at the Amazon website, you'll be able to find out this kind of exact poster. As you can clearly see, friends, iQOO 9 series. So it says monster inside. And they did men mention like iQOO 9 series. So we can actually expect the multiple smartphones. But previously we do know there are two smartphones which we did expect like iQOO 9 and iQOO 9 Pro. But there is one more model which is iQOO 9 SE. Yes, friends, that's kind of uh, surprising to see that kind of new model. So in this video, let's take a look a few details about those models, what we can actually expect. So final friends, we are going to take a look at the individual specifications of each and every smartphone. So the high end model will be the iQOO 9 Pro device. So next model will be iQOO 9 device and the lowest variant will be the iQOO 9 SE device. And now let's take a look at the specifications of each and every smartphone. So first thing regarding the processor, the processor of the iQOO 9 Pro will be having the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. Snapdragon 888 Plus chipset, Snapdragon 888 processor. So everything is 8 series completely in the Snapdragon processors between all of these three smartphones. And UFS storage 3.1 and enhanced RAM and everything will be there between all of these three smartphones. And next, let's take a look at the displays. So display is kind of pretty normal, friends. The lowest variant iQOO 9 SE will be having the AMOLED panel 120 hertz uh, refresh rate. 1300 nits of peak brightness and next iQOO 9 will be having AMOLED panel 120 Hz and 1500 nits of peak brightness and 6.78 inches screen size and the final high-end model with iQOO 9 Pro will be having the LTPO AMOLED panel and with 1 billion colors and 120 Hz refresh rate Dolby Vision and HDR 10 Play certified 1 1500 nits of peak brightness and curved display also so regarding the display there is a lot of change in the iQOO 9 Pro which is really good so LTPO means you can actually get the variable refresh rate from 1 Hertz to 120 Hertz as well so that's the advantage of having this LTPO panel type of technology like so the refresh rate keep on changing depending on the content to save the battery that's really good uh, type of technology they have used so next thing is about the battery we can expect the 4000 mAh battery capacity 120 watts charger and same thing applies for the iQOO 9 and iQOO 9 SE will be having the 4500 mAh battery and 66 watts charger so i'm not sure about the iQOO 9 device iQOO 9 may be having slow charger but i'm not sure but iQOO 9 pro will be having 120 watts that's for sure iQOO 9 SE will be having 66 watts that's for sure but in the middle iQOO 9 we are not sure exactly whether they're going to release in india the same charger or not so regarding the camera, we're going to see the gimbal stabilization in the iQOO 9 Pro. So which is a physical gimbal sensor is present. That's really good. And telephoto lens, we do have the ultra wide 50 megapixel. That's also pretty advantage. 150 degree ultra wide. 8K recording is possible in the iQOO 9 Pro. And 16 megapixel front cam, 1080, 1080 at 30 FPS, you can actually record. And iQOO 9 will be having normal 50 megapixel OIS and 12 plus 13 combination, you can see. And 4K 30 FPS and 16 megapixel front cam. I think 4K 60 also you can record at this moment, I think so. In this iQOO 9 SE, you can actually see 48 plus 13 plus 2 and 4K 30 and 1080 at 30, 16 megapixel. So overall friends, these are the final details about the specifications of this all of three smartphones. So overall, it seems to be kind of iQOO 9 Pro will be having definitely higher price range. So which will be above 40,000 for the iQOO 9 Pro uh, device iQOO 9 may be having kind of close to uh, 38,000 that's what I'm guessing would be there the price of this one 38,000, 37,000 Snapdragon 888, Pro, 888 Plus chipset and iQOO 9 SE will be the lowest priced which can be kind of close to 32,000 the main reason why I'm expecting because in the first sale we will be seeing really huge discounts so forget about the iQOO 7 legend because a lot of people they will be definitely saying that iQOO 7 legend is uh, priced around 35,000 rupees so can we expect the similar kind of price to be less than that iQOO 7 legend or not? I think yes can be there because recently the iQOO did it uh, give the sale in the Amazon for about 30,000 rupees for the iQOO 7 legend if you watch my previous videos so maybe in the first sale they might give the discount huge on the iQOO 9 SE because in the iQOO 7 also in the first sale in the May last year so I did buy this device for 27,000 rupees in the first sale in the pre-order in the first sale 27,000 rupees so that's what I'm expecting in the iQOO 9 SE also the price is gonna be very very less after using all the discounts and coupon so 3,000 rupees coupon and bank discounts the price can be 
32,000 thousand rupees so i think most of the people they'll be definitely buying this iqoo 9 se at this moment so that's another uh, thing to note down and that's it friends let me know in the comments which phone uh, are you after which phone you're looking to buy iqoo 9 pro or iqoo 9 or iqoo 9 se so meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching until then stay for more updates and my point of view i think maybe the iqoo 9 se will be a really good deal i would say but let's see let's take a look at the price after that we can actually decide Meanwhile, signing off friends, thank you for watching and let's stay for more updates and bye.